And the best way to do that is to get it in the right depth. The depth is the one that most people get wrong. And, and how do I know this? Well, if you do enough all on X's and the patient comes to you and they've got one or two implants, almost every single time we have to retrieve those implants. And it's unfortunate because we go, gosh, if this implant was just a little bit deeper, we could repurpose it for the all on X solution. And then we, the patient's paying less, right? You have less of an investment and it reduces risk. So the way you do that is you get it deep enough. And quite honestly, guys, it's not that big of a difference. And what do I mean? Well, in most people, if you place a dental implant in the right position, you're placing the platform of the implant three to four millimeters apical to the desired free gingival margin. So let's use a central, a central clinical crown, 10 millimeters long. Let's call it 10 millimeters long. If you place the implant three to four millimeters apical to that free gingival margin, 10 plus four is 14 millimeters. If you then have to convert that later to an all on X solution, you've got 14 millimeters of crown height space. And in, although the, most labs would tell you the minimum is 12, okay? So people are getting by with 12. 14 is pretty good. You'd like to shoot for 15 to 17 in most cases for strength reasons, but 14 is reasonable. So you at least give the patient a fighting chance that, that you can convert this. 